Steam Drunk. One of my favorite games of the last few years is What the Golf. Now, some folks see golf in the title and are immediately going to nope out. And if that's your thought, you are doing yourself a disservice. So I'm going to say up front, this is not a golf game. It's a puzzle game, and it's absolutely ridiculous and silly and stupid in the best possible way. What the Golf feels like it comes from the same universe as a game like Katamari Damase. It's got that same feeling of crazy unpredictability. That's the number one hook this game has going for it. You have absolutely no idea what comes next, because everything is on the table. Everything feels possible in this dopey, silly little universe that this game creates. So, how does this game work at its core? Well, with the old bait and switch to start with, you get a ball, a green, and a pin, you pull back on the shot meter, and you do that with either a joypad on the controller, a mouse, or with your finger on a touch screen, and you hit the pin with the ball. The first couple holes are the only straightforward golf type stuff you'll get in this game, because as you can see next, yeah, you just keep awkwardly flinging yourself until whatever you're flinging hits the pin. There's only seven introductory puzzles to complete. After that, you're dumped into a world map where you use the same shot meter to explore around and find other puzzles. Complete as many as you can find and you'll eventually come to a boss fight, so to speak, in the form of this computer thing. And once you defeat that, it opens up the next series of puzzles, which get weirder and more complicated the further you progress. And therein lies the addictive quality of What the Golf. When you pull back on the shot meter, you never know what to expect. Like here, you think it's bowling and you go to throw the ball and, well, yeah, it's still bowling just with a person. Or here, where the ball grows a tentacle to stick to the ceiling, or the hole could start moving around. There's even weird stuff like controlling a fire-propelled barrel to knock down bowling pins. See, this is where I don't want to give away too much, because what makes this game so much fun is not knowing what's coming next. I'll just let the footage speak for itself here, but as of this video posting, there's over a thousand holes, or puzzles really, that are available for you to complete, and every single one is something different, and it's usually pretty funny, or at the very least, pretty weird. It helps that the mechanics are incredibly simple and really forgiving. You can pull back on the shot meter while the ball is still moving, so if you're falling off of a ledge, you still have a chance to save your ball. It's essential to get the hang of doing this because you'll run into certain puzzles like this soccer one where you've got kids chasing you, or this one with these spinning things that'll send your ball flying. Most of the time you'll get unlimited tries at completing a puzzle, but there are some where you have either a shot limit or a time limit. One majorly unexpected part of What the Golf is all the different references to other games. There's an entire section of puzzles that borrows from Portal, there's the aforementioned Katamari, there's even a Mario style level here, it's fantastic. One kind of understated thing I love about this game is how it looks. Sometimes when you see a stripped down basic visual style like this in a game, people might perceive that as, oh, the dev team just wanted an excuse to be lazy and not put any quote unquote real effort into it. But in a game like this, the visuals work to the game's advantage. If anything, the visuals add to the unpredictability because it keeps things so simple that anything feels possible. I especially like the humans in this game, just these sad, vacant looking ragdolls. It's hilarious. So yeah, I love What the Golf, and it's built a solid community over the past couple years to the point that there's still daily challenges online, and they're still adding all sorts of new puzzles to this day. You can play this game on Steam, Nintendo Switch, and Apple Arcade. It's a really simple but really entertaining game, and I cannot wait to see what the developer Triband will do next. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.